replace the LC 140 uh, cartridge, which is called the pre-treatment cartridge, and the LC 141 uh, ion exchange cartridge. We're going to do those two. It's much easier to replace both simultaneously because of the operations that you have to do. So the first thing is we have to turn it off. And the off switch is all the way in the back. There's a little note here. It says on off switch on the left. So you have to reach and it's actually right right there. So right where this is, just follow your finger around to there. That's where it is. It's right next to where the plug is for it. All right, so now it's off. Uh, now, the problem also, though, this is the cartridges we're going to replace. If we just take them out right now, this is under pressure. And under pressure will result, of course, in uh, it leaking everywhere. So we have to re reveal, re reduce the pressure. Um, and we can do that a number of ways. Uh, but let me show you the other part of the system that we have. So this pump maintains pressure from the purification unit to the uh, sink and to the dishwasher. And the sink is also connected to the high pur purity water. So first we're going to turn the high purity water off so that it will maintain pressure from there. So you can show the high purity system over here, right? So this one has its own, that valve I just turned off leads to this, which is the pressure uh, setting and sensor for this, but I don't want this to be involved in what we're about to do. Ready? So this is the LC140 pretreatment cartridge. It's mounted on two little clips, so we can take those out and we note there's a little uh, tag I put on here that says out from pretreatment cartridge, and this says into pretreatment cartridge. And the way all of these connections work, they're push to fit. So you push it, you see this little ring, you push that in and that lets you slide it out. When you push it back in, you don't have to hold that and then it just locks in place. So I push that in with one finger, pull out with the other, there you go. And now this one, I push that in, that little ring, and pull, and there you go. This can be thrown, according to the instructions, this can be put in the regular trash. You can see this is the in, and that one had said in, in two, so that's the in and that's the out. And the, now this one comes sealed, these little red plugs, uh, are you going to take out the same way that you took that out? Push that ring and pull that little plug. And you can put it in there if you want, doesn't matter. And we'll do that on the other side too. These rotate, and so we're going to push this in, That the ring on the outside of this, hold that in and pull. There's your other plug. All right, most important, of course, is to get it the right way. That's why I put those little tags on there. And then all you do, you push and I've also set those labels so that it shows you how far the tube should sink in to the connection. So it should go right up to where the label is. And now we just fit it back in. We kind of want this outside of the clip. Because if you put it there, see I was about to do that, then that would get pinched by the, the cartridge. But I put it out there and just snap it in place. And once we're done, we're going to write as we had done with this one when it was installed. We'll do the other one, basically the same idea. You lift up from the bottom and slide out. And you see those two O-rings? They find two connections in there. Um, and so it's designed to lift up. There's still water in it. There's the old one. This is the new LC-141. Um, and this, there's nothing to, uh, to push, you just pull it out, pull it out. And especially for this one, that's convenient because it's going to leak water. You can throw it in a regular trash, but if you turn it upside down, it'll leak water. So, Okay, so here we go. It's those two stubs that are 
uh, going to accept the O-rings that are there with the O-rings. So I'm going to take some DI water that we've presumably nice and pure, and we're going to squirt to wet the O-rings, and that helps them seal. All right, and then you position it. And push, and it should be vertical and level. If going in at first it was a little high, there's a little track that this shelf rides on. So it had to be above that track. So I sort of did that and then pushed in, pushed in. Last step uh, will be to uh, write on there, but for now what we're going to do is turn this back on. And we'll let it go through its cycle. It's giving us an alarm. Um, and now what we're going to do is run the water out of the tap. I'm going to turn on the tap and if I run it slowly enough what you're hearing is every so often as I run it slow enough the pressure drops so that maintains the pressure but I'm going to turn this on higher and I'm running this out because I know that the the measurement of the resistance had already dropped below 15 so I kind of want to flush out the stuff that wasn't as pure. And what I intend to do is get the system to giving an alarm that there is greater than 10% left. That's as low as I would go. Now it's as greater than 10%. And what I was hearing, that little sound, was a little bit of air. Uh, it's not enough to worry about. But this is what you definitely need to avoid. See that little air bubble? If there's too much air in this line, the pump cannot maintain pressure. It can do it with liquids, it can't do it with gases in there. So if there's too much air, this will run continuously and it'll just be, you know, come out as air there and you'll think everything's broken and this will make a lot of noise and it'll get very hot. At that point, the only solution is to turn it off at the circuit breaker and then uh, try to prime it and let it cool down, then you turn it on and let this fill up and then you can try to prime it. You have to hold this up so that the air bubbles follow out to the sink or wherever you want them to go so that they don't stay in there. But that little bit of air isn't going to hurt us. Now, brand new, it should relatively quickly rise all the way up to 15 and stay at 15. 